So I'm starting this video at the Karina boss fight because, oh my god, this could have been its own video. It was a pain. It hurt so much to do. It took way too damn long. There's Your bullets were blocked by the bushes like, what? And she heals everything and then this happens. So I do the fight all over again. I go through a whole day-night cycle and I'm trying to out damage her healing and she just... And I account her problem. Her health isn't going down and I'm running out of bullets. And with 7 bullets in the tank, I managed to squeeze out the W. I do some trading to get my bullets back for the King Kelvis fight. We do some slave labor and we get saved by our friends 3 months later. Run up on Kelvis and the Vero got smoked. I get smoked. A lot of times, and after I do server hop, get a server that isn't lagging as bad, I really find my stride, I'm hitting my shots, I'm gonna parry, and throughout the fight I'm relatively healthy, everything's going good and well. But honestly, King Kelvis is definitely skill, the Karina boss fight was something else, I never want to do it again, never want to see her. Please don't ever use guns against Karina, it's awful. And once I'm doing really well and I'm getting this really good run, a guy walks in to get a crumb of damage, but he just misses all his shots. He's just trying to get this damage in so he can get some credit for the Kelvis. And while I'm parrying for my life, he runs out of the room. I'm just parrying for my life. Nowhere to be seen. And I'm still doing well. And then he comes back in looking for his damage, looking for anything, and he finally gets his damage in, but Kelvis immediately smokes him. Thankfully, and things get down to the wire, I'm, I'm one touch, Kelvis is one touch, but he charges up his move and I finish him off. I check if I'm recording because I'm actually so tired of fighting this boss, and we fight the hardest boss in Arcane Odyssey. And then we sink a boat with a gun, don't ask me how. Then I grind the fight outside of Ravenna, and we go through the dark cave to get our awakening. And this is a really missed opportunity to have a puzzle. A puzzle would have been cool here. I might be the only person who thinks that, but you know, walking through a dark cave doing nothing is kind of boring. And we reach the temple, and my game crashes. And I do the obvious thing and look up how to fix it. But yeah, if you're still having trouble, well, get a better PC. Thanks, Maple Storm. Anyways, I swim back to the temple. And we actually get our awakening this time, the cutscene doesn't crash, and we check out our moves. The piercing shot, kind of okay, 3 out of 5 chicken stars, and the gun draw, oh my, 5 out of 5 chicken stars, that looks amazing. And the multi shot, that's really good as well, 4 out of 5 chicken stars. This move, okay, 4 out of 5 chicken stars. Freezing Tempest, if it didn't break my frames, it'd probably be a 5 out of 5. Kai's Flying Slash. Kind of mid, 2 out of 5 chicken stars. The flash strike though, 3 out of 5 chicken stars, pretty good. The mirrored river is pretty cool as well, 4 out of 5 chicken stars. Twin crescents, 3 out of 5 chicken stars, not much you can do with that. And why does it look like I'm holding popsicles? And that's all I got for you guys, probably won't do a video like this one anytime soon. So yeah, later.